Hey, so today is um, what I'm affectionately calling Fearless Friday. Um, I posted about this the last couple Fridays um, about just being fearless, which isn't always easy, right? So I think that in many areas of my life, I am like a risk taker. Now, <laughs> risks as far as what I deem a risk. Um, and... You know, have I ever jumped out of an airplane? No. <laughs> um, have I ever climbed Mount Everest? No, although I want to, and yet people talk me out of it. Not saying I never will one day. Um, when I was younger, like hashtag all the years younger, I wanted to be <laughs> a rodeo clown, right? And I had some amazing people in my life telling me, you get hurt, that's all, whatever, whatever, you just don't do it. And so I didn't even pursue it which is fine. That's all good. But, um, I've been thinking about that in this posture of, you know, dusting off to get to the sass and sassy girl here is like, I want to start taking risks in more areas of my life. Um, I feel that in my career, I, or, you know, my profession or whatever, my income earning, opportunities that I do, I feel like I'm more of a risk taker. I don't know why that is, um, but I am willing to take risks. And, and um, more on that for another day. Um, but I think, okay, granted, I am not a medical expert. I can neither treat, diagnose, nor cure. I'm just a 50-year-old woman who is wanting to dust off, the, dust off to get to the SAS, who has walked every day for 369 days, who has dropped 36 pounds and 24 inches in the last 11 months, from, you know, doing so all naturally. You know, I have 50 years of experience I'm talking from, and, or from which I'm talking. Um, and I think that there is a correlation between risk, fear, and confidence. And I, it hit me this morning on my walk that there's some type of symbiotic relationship with them. And so, what is it that you lack confidence in or what is it that you fear that you just need to step into that and take a risk? Um, earlier this year when I was in Thailand, you all may remember this post. I'll put a picture or I'll, maybe I'll put a link to the picture. Anyway, I'll post the picture from earlier this year when I was in Thailand and I was at the, it was the um, cultural day for our trip. And we were getting in, we were getting in line for the elephants and finding out when we'd be able to ride the elephant. And I saw this guy walking around with a snake on his neck. And I, my first thought was, that's stupid. And then I was like, why is that stupid? Okay, other than the fact that having a neck a snake around your neck is. But I was like, but seriously, I questioned myself, like, why do I think that's stupid? And then I thought, because why would you put a snake around your neck? Because I don't like snakes and it's creepy and it's fearful. And it's like, what if he like crushes you and all the things? And, and then I thought, I'm going to do it. Like those, those thoughts were like milliseconds in my mind. And I thought, I'm going to go do that. I'm going to go put a snake around my neck. That's not, that is not even on my bucket list. And I want to point out rodeo clown being a rodeo clown is back on my, is on my bucket list. And I will do that. Hashtag do the cartwheel. Um, and so I walked over before the rest of the people I was with did. And I, I said, I want to, I want to do that. And it costs like two and a half dollars y'all. I'm just saying. And I put a snake around my neck. Now we put the snake around my neck. I was like, this is cool. And then he put the snake on the top of my head. And with my hand like this, I started, I, I was like, I couldn't catch my breath. And everyone's like, open your eyes, open your eyes. And I'm like, I can't breathe. And I just, I focused on taking a deep breath. And I opened my eyes and I could feel every vertebrae in his, you know, where my hand was covering. And it was kind of creepy. I know that doesn't seem like that big of a risk, but you know what? I have used that particular incidence as a muscle memory, and I've built from that and going, you know what? I'm going to take risks. And I'm still working on that. I'm still working on taking risks. Um, but, you know, if we, don't, if we don't take that first step to bust out of our comfort zone and take a risk, you know, life can be pretty boring. So I just want to come at, um, come at you with that today and just encourage you to be fearless. And so what risk are you going to take today. Because <laughs> you can do it. I believe in you. Have a great Friday. Mwah!